Hi, I'm Tracy Hotchner. I'm the author of the Dog Bible, but I'm here today to tell you how to pick a puppy, how to add an adorable little monster to your home. There's none of these puppies that isn't gonna be a good puppy, but which is the one that's the right one for you? Now, do not believe the idea that, here babies, that the puppy that runs up to you is the one that's karmically supposed to be your baby. This must be the one because everyone else is sleeping. Not necessarily, this one just happens to be awake. Now, if you go to see a bunch of puppies and they're all asleep, you could think, what's wrong with these puppies? Aren't puppies supposed to be lively and full of energy? Yeah, they do that for 10 minutes and then they crash. What you want to do is wake them up. Hello, puppies! Hello, puppies! And you see that? Magic! All the little puppies wake up! Puppies should be curious. They should be interested in everything going on in the world around them. Now this little guy, I have to ask the breeder. Maybe he had his shots recently and he's feeling a little under the weather. Maybe he's always a couch potato. If I wanted to hang with a dog that was going to sit under my desk all day, that might be the right dog for me. Now this little critter can't stop playing with me. For me personally, my personality, this would be a dog I'd want. Because I want a dog that wants to do stuff with me all the time, even if it's only just to talk to me. Now, you see how I have her in a really funny position, her little legs hanging over like this? That's a little insecure. This puppy's really trusting. She's not scared. She's not panicking. That's not because I'm fabulous. It's because the breeder has gotten this puppy used to all kinds of situations and conditions. Now, a lot of people have heard about puppy personality tests, as though you could test a puppy's personality and know everything about a little seven or eight week old puppy just from some little test you do. It doesn't really work. What it does is gives you a chance to hold each puppy and have a feeling about each puppy. So one of the tests they say to do is you lift the puppy off the ground and if the puppy accepts it, it means it's a good puppy and if the puppy struggles, it's a bad puppy. That's not the case. They say flip the puppy over, hold the puppy down. All puppies like to be held down. It's fun. They just like to interact with people. A puppy who's been well socialized likes you to do stuff with them. It doesn't matter what you do, it's all good. So what it really boils down to is, what is your energy level? What is your lifestyle? Do you sit at your computer eight hours a day and would love to have a golden at your feet? Then one of these sleeping puppies might be the better bet. If you want to be up and at them and you have three kids and they want to play all day, then you want to pick a puppy that's a zoomy puppy. Everything else will fall into place once that puppy joins your life. Enjoy yourselves. Good luck.